Something about Natsume has been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Nothing will change that. However, was he really like Madarame? Can he truly be called evil like the palace rulers we confronted in the past? Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? And what do you think? Very innocent people. I see. You're right. That's probably the best stance to take for now. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. One of the differences between... Let's go. Looks like everybody's head back to the camera. We should go too, Ran. Seems like the, one of the big differences between jails and palaces is that the palaces were people that were just fully corrupt on their own. Whereas the people with jails were more... There's nothing more we can do now. We should wait until the high down until the thing Kichi reaches out. People in, with jails were more... Victims that had corrupted themselves because of their victim mentality. So they're not in the same ballpark as someone who is doing something, say, abusing students and trying to get sexual favors from them, like a certain teacher in the base game. But and they still did evil things. Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? That's my didn't have a stalker. The same as Alice. You're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? No. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Could someone be exploiting him? Maybe. This seems like it'd be pretty difficult for a third party to pull off. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? Not yet, no. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? We don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. 
No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? What, Yukata with you? Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in a Yukata sounds wonderful. Oh, we one too. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. I know that males do wear Yukata over there. It's not a female dress. It's just... Oh, the girls are going to wear Yukata. Oh, we one too. Check out all the boots. As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san. And it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He is not a dude. He is Lord Date Masamune, the one-eyed dragon of ocean. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? You stay and I are wearing so proper Yukata. It's hard to pick what to see first. Uh, what do you think? Ryuji is wearing shorts in his, his Yukata and wearing a Phoenix Pepper uh, mask. Let's try a shooting gallery. Oh, want to make a competition out of it? I'm a pretty good shot, you know. You seem more like the brute force type, Ryuji. I think you should stick to melee weapons. I don't think we're on the same page here. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Wow. You're calling an ape. You're the unrefined one, you furball. Look, this furball's got claws, you bonehead. Sorry for the wait. <gasps> lady on. The job is not used to it and is struggling to walk. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry, tying the obi took quite some time. Can I get a closer look? Stop staring so much! It's embarrassing! Absolutely picturesque. You've brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji! That looks really good on you! Even better than your school uniform! You don't gotta try and make me feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo. No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. What do you call it? I have no clue, because this is a Japanese thing. I'm gonna side with Futaba. Yeah, I knew it! I mean, it's only a little bit, but there's still some water inside. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure! I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look! They've got all the staples! Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice! We've even got cognac skewers! Those are huge in Tohoku. What are we waiting for? Charge! Yeah, because you're so far. Huh, we should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah! Let's start from one end and get one of everything. Feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch goldfish. I had fun with everyone at the festival. Mm, that was so good. Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masmune. He is one cool dude. That's lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? 
Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. The trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. Oh, we didn't get it? You're getting a call from Zenkichi. Also interesting that I'm the only one that needs a fan. You guys having fun? How about you? Just working. Moderately, anyway. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Doho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Aoba campus. So they're going to jam? Not that kind of session. The CEO of Matisse is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. What's in it for us? I'll treat you guys to dinner or something. The food in Hokkaido is really something special, you know? And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. Do you have a name? His name is Akira Konoe. If he looks like a capable CEO, I'll give him that. Akira? Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away. All right. Oh, we never get carried away. We're always oh, cool, calm, and collected. I want to get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma. This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. As you all nope. well, know, life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power. AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Medisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another. You stay is whispering to try and avoid attention. The officer just spoke. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like some kind of mastermind? Mm. There's gotta be, right? I think so too. Even if it is Emma itself. There's gotta be some even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's got to be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? It's All we gonna can stop do is solve the cases loud. and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. 
He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. Let's stop interrupting the lecture. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Oh, can I smack you? Yes, well, yes she can. he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Damn it, Ryuji. You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. No, nah. B me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. What the hell are we gonna do? We should run. Whoa, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. I'd rather not talk to you at all, lady. Wow. We have a secret thing. You guys are the famous phantom thieves. I think you misheard us. Come on now. Don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, of course you do. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Of course you do. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medis came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Well, never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? Play dumb and run for it. No way! It's a little late for that, don't you think? Never too late. Get in the car and drive. If we ditched her now and she started telling the whole world about us. Then hey, where's her proof? We may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Don't trust the perky scientist chick. She's gonna betray you. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! Could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... If I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! 
What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions. Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for it's evil. just realizing this. You know? Nope, well, trusting adult. I like the sound of that. Super phantom thiefy. I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word and I'm on. Trust by them. Right. Well, for starters. We'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you, as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Hmm. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? We'll be counting on you. Okay, looking forward to it. That's right. Trunk boss come easier to oh, open. Yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia. Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, nope, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! I don't trust her. Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Guess that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Hey, hey! Next stop, Ricardo. Time to say goodbye, Sendai. And if you didn't pick up your list yet while we're still here, this is your last chance. Let's get the RV once you're good and ready. If you choose to go to the next city, you'll be unable to return to the city you're currently in. Make sure to buy limited items and take care of business that can only be done in that city. Unlike the cities in the real world, you can revisit past tales at any time. However, be aware that requests obtained from conversing with your friends in past seasons will no longer be available to accept them complete. Hey yo, can I borrow you? There's something I want to do before we go. I shall await you at the entrance of the Mount Over Park Show. Okay, and that's <laughs> what we're gonna call it. Next time on 25 Strikers, we're going to uh, do the cleanup for Sendai, I guess. <laughs>